Hey everyone, it's Intel here, and this video is going to be my beginner's guide on how to PvP. So if you're someone who's struggling to get into PvP or you're just trying to get better at the game, then this video is going to be perfect for you. In this video, I'm going to be covering the 5 fundamental skills that you need to master if you want to become good at Minecraft PvP. Those skills are clicking, aiming, item utilization, hotkeying, and movement, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining all of those skills as well as how to practice them. There's a few things I want to say before I get into the explanation, and the first thing is that this guide is mostly catered to 1.8 base. PvP. However, I do think that a lot of these skills will apply to later versions of combat, so keep that in mind. And then I also wanted to say that if you find any of these tips helpful for you, then I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed, it does mean a lot to me. I'll also leave some timestamps in the description so you can skip around, but anyways with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So before I start explaining, there are two terms that everyone should be familiar with because I'm going to be referring to them a lot in this video. The first one is a combo. A combo is getting multiple consecutive hits on the other player while they can't hit you. And the second term is knockback. Now you probably already know what knockback is, but what you need to know is that when you are dealing more knockback, or if you're taking less knockback, then it's going to be easier for you to get a combo on your opponent. So make sure to keep those two things in mind while I'm talking about PvP. The first of the six skills I'm going to be talking about is clicking. Ideally, in Minecraft PvP, while you're fighting someone, you want to be clicking on your left mouse button as fast as possible without compromising your aim. So let me make this really clear before I continue. If you're clicking so fast that your aim is becoming significantly worse because of it, then you should not be clicking that fast. It's much more important in PvP to have good aim than it is to click as fast as you can. Now with that being said, there is an advantage to clicking faster. Basically, the faster you click, it's going to be slightly easier to get combos sometimes and you're also going to take a little less knockback. Now this is really subtle and it's not a big advantage and if you want a really detailed explanation on how this works, I'll leave a video in the description. But the advantage advantage is really subtle and there's a lot more important things to learn in PvP than clicking as fast as you can. In PvP, there are three mainstream clicking methods. The first one is normal clicking and this is pretty self-explanatory. You're normally clicking on your mouse as fast as you can. The second one is jitter clicking and in jitter clicking, you tense up your forearm to be able to jitter your finger on your mouse button. And then the final one is butterfly clicking and in butterfly clicking, you use two fingers and alternate between them on your mouse button. For most people, jitter clicking and butterfly clicking are faster clicking methods methods than normal clicking, so keep that in mind. I would try all of these clicking methods at least once just so you can get a feel with it, and I will leave tutorials down in the description on how you can jitter and butterfly click. If you're struggling deciding which clicking method you should use, then you should just use what's comfortable for you. There are insane players that use every type of clicking method, so you should never feel like the clicking method you're using is holding you back. The last thing I want to mention is clicking consistency, and basically what I mean by this is while you're fighting someone, you never want to not be clicking. If you're fighting someone and you stop clicking for even half a second, that could lead to them comboing you, so you really want to focus on always clicking your mouse while you're in a fight. The second skill I'm going to talk about is aiming, and I want to start off addressing a really big misconception, and that is that using an aim trainer is not going to help you improve your aim in Minecraft PvP. I've seen a lot of people recommend aim trainers to help improve your aim, like Kovacs or aim labs. While this might help in other games, it's not going to help you in Minecraft PvP, and that is because when you're playing an aim trainer, you're primarily just holding down left click the entire time if you're playing a tracking based scenario. In Minecraft PvP, you're not doing that, you're clicking as fast as possible the entire time while you're aiming, and this is a completely different skill than just holding left click and aiming. Trust me when I say that aim trainers are going to be a complete waste of time if you're trying to improve your aim in PvP, and the best way to improve your aim is just to play more Minecraft PvP. So with that being said, let me get into some methods that you can use to improve your aim. The first method is using your arm to aim instead of using your wrist to aim in PvP. It's been pretty much proven that if you're using your arm to aim while you're clicking as fast as possible, you're gonna have much better aim than using your wrist to aim while clicking, so I'd really recommend locking your wrist in place and forcing you to move your arm to aim. The second thing is lowering your sensitivity. If you can do a complete 360 or even a 180 just moving your wrist, then your sensitivity is way too high. You want to make sure that you're moving your arm a good bit while you're aiming while you PvP. If you're clicking and your crosshair is shaking uncontrollably, that's another big sign that your sensitivity is way too high and that you should lower it. Also, you should already know this, but you should disable mouse acceleration. You can find this in your mouse's software or by the mouse settings in Windows. 
And the last thing that I want to mention is that while you're actually PvPing, you shouldn't just be focusing on your crosshair being on your opponent when you're about to attack them, but you should be trying to track their movements the entire time with your crosshair. The third skill I want to talk about is item utilization, and this is going to vary depending on what PvP game mode that you're playing, but knowing how to utilize the items that are available to you is a massive thing in PvP. So I'm not going to explain how to use every single item for PvP because that's going to take way too much time, but instead I'm going to mention a few of the really common items that you usually see in PvP and a basic explanation on how to use them. Let's start off with the fishing rod because you see this a lot in PvP, and basically how you use this is you use your fishing rod at your opponent right when they're out of your attack range, and then you go to attack them immediately after, and usually by doing this you can get a combo on the other player. Now that's actually a really basic explanation, and I'm going to explain that a little bit more in the movement section of the video, so keep that in mind. The next item are speed potions, and speed potions are really strong. Basically, while you have speed, while you're moving forward, you're going to be taking less knockback, and it's going to be easier to combo the other player. Next, there are snowballs and eggs, and these work the exact same way, and you can use them exactly like how you would use a fishing rod, and you can also spam them at another player to stop their movement and throw them into the void in a game like Sky Wars. Next are Lava and Flint and Steel, and how you use them is pretty self-explanatory. You use them on the block that your opponent is standing on to set them on fire. And then finally, there's blocks, and blocks have so many uses in PvP. You can place a block while your opponent is running towards you to stop their movement and get a combo on them. You can also use them to save yourself if you're getting thrown into the void or off a high edge. And then you can use them to block trap people and get them to fall into the void. There are so many uses for blocks, and this is really important in a game like Bed Wars. Now those are a few of the really basic items that you usually find in PvP game modes, so if you want to know more about item utilization, then I'd really recommend searching up a really good PvP YouTuber for whatever game mode that you're interested in and watching their gameplay and seeing how they utilize their items. The fourth skill is hotkeying, and hotkeying is using the numbers and other keys on your keyboard to switch between items in your inventory. Now you can do this just by scrolling with your scroll wheel, but it's much much faster and a lot more accurate to have hotkeys set up on your keyboard. If you learn how to hotkey correctly, you're going to be able to switch to whatever item that you want at any time that you want and quickly. Now I've already made a really good tutorial on how to hotkey and I'll leave that video in the description if you want to watch it, but I'll try to summarize that video as much as I can. To hotkey, you want to use your index finger to press any of the number keys on your keyboard that correspond with the slots in your inventory. You want to get used to switching to any of those slots and then switching back to your primary weapon which is usually in your first slot, but some people change that. Most people can't reach 1 through 9 with their index finger while they're PvPing. Now the solution to that is to rebind whatever slot that you can't reach while you're PvPing to keys on your keyboard that are within reach. You always want to have your fingers near your WASD cluster or wherever your movement keys are, and then I'd recommend changing keys like R, F, G, just keys that are near your WASD cluster to whatever slot that you can't reach. It's going to be hard to get used to hotkeying at first, especially if you've come from scrolling, so what I'd recommend doing is just not touching your scroll wheel at all and forcing yourself only to use whatever hotkeys that you have set up to switch between your items, and that way you're going to develop that muscle memory a lot faster. The fifth skill is movement, and usually this is the hardest for newer players to grasp, because usually this is the most unintuitive part of Minecraft PvP. I have two really good videos where I go into detail on movement that I'm going to leave in the description, so I'd recommend that you watch them, but I'm going to try and summarize movement in this video. The first thing that you need to know is that the more knockback you're able to deal to your opponent, the easier it's going to be for you to combo them. One way to deal more knockback in Minecraft PvP is by sprint resetting. Basically, in Minecraft, if you hold W and attack something, your first hit is going to deal the most amount of knockback while all the other hits following aren't going to deal as much knockback. By sprint resetting, you can make sure that every hit deals the most amount of knockback. There's many ways to sprint reset. One way is by quickly releasing W and pressing it again. The second way is to block your sword after you hit someone. You can also tap your S key while you're holding W to sprint reset, and then you can also shift after each hit to sprint reset. There's a lot of different ways to sprint reset, but what matters is that you're trying to sprint reset as much as you can while PvPing so you deal the most amount of knockback and it's going to make it a lot easier to combo someone else. The second big thing 
thing when it comes to movement is stunning your opponent's movement. Basically, in Minecraft PvP, if you aren't moving forward, then it's going to be a lot harder for you to get a combo on the other player, and a lot easier for the other player to combo you. So this is why rods play such a big factor in Minecraft PvP. Basically, when you rod someone, it's going to stun their movement for a very short time to prevent them from moving forward. During this time where they're stunned, you have a really good opportunity to be able to combo them. There's a lot of different ways to stop your opponent from moving forward. Another way is by using blocks. If you place a block at the right time, you can stop your opponent, and then it's going to be really easy to get a combo on them. And then you can also use eggs and snowballs to stop your opponent's movement. But once again, in that very short window where your opponent is completely stopped from moving forward, it's really easy to get a combo on them. The next thing I want to talk about is your movement speed. Basically, if you're moving faster than your opponent, it's going to be a lot harder for them to deal more knockback to you, and a lot easier for you to deal more knockback to them, making it a lot easier for you to combo them. This is what makes speed really valuable in PvP, but also this means that slowness can be very useful. If you have a splash potion of slowness, you can throw that at your enemy, and because they're slowed, they're going to be dealing less knockback to you, and you're going to be dealing more knockback to them, making it also easier for you to combo them. Distancing yourself from your opponent is also a really big thing in PvP. If you're about to combo someone and you're right up in front of them, then it's really easy for them to hit you and break the combo. If you know you're about to combo someone else, you should try to distance yourself from your opponent. You should try to make sure that you're as far away from them as possible while they're still in your attack range. If you do this, this is going to help you hold combos for even longer and get more hits on your opponent. And then the last thing I want to talk about is strafing, which is just moving left to right while you PvP. You should always be strafing as much as you can, and if you're constantly changing your movements, it's going to be harder for your opponent to aim on you consistently. And that is pretty much it for my beginner's tips on PvP. So besides PvP, one of the best ways to get better at whatever game you're playing is through Game Sense, and I can't explain Game Sense to you. It's something that you have to develop by having experience in whatever game mode that you want to play, and it differs from game mode to game mode. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that one of the biggest tips that I can give you to get better is to practice. You're never going to be good unless you put time into the game, so remember to practice that is easy easily the biggest tip that I can give you. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support me, you can consider buying my Lunar Cape. I will leave it in the description. But anyways, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.